As we approach this Mother's Day weekend, I, I think how grateful I am to have been raised by a great, strong mother. I, I was raised with somebody who would eventually become a, a strong mother, my, my sister. I'm married to uh, just a beautiful woman who, whose strength and, and generosity just overwhelms in so many ways. And, and as a man, I just think about how grateful I am for the women who are around me. And for, for several decades, it's my honor to, to pastor women who were an example to me, who pointed me toward Jesus. And if I had just two things I could say, if, if, if there's a new mom that's going to be out there and they were to ask, hey, biblically speaking, uh, what does the Bible guarantee motherhood's going to be like? There's two specific things. In Genesis chapter 3, so, so after the fall of, of Adam and Eve, so Genesis 1 and 2, you have the beauty of creation and then foolish choices in Genesis chapter 3. God comes along and in part, he imparts judgment, no question, but also in part, he just kind of begins to say, hey, Here's the reality of life. Now that you've fallen, here's what this world is going to be like. It, it's not him casting judgment upon them as much as just saying, here's what it's going to look like. And he says this to the woman, Genesis chapter 3, verse number 16. I, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe. With painful labor, you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. If I had to guarantee two things to anybody who's a mom, it's these two realities. You're going to love and you're going to lose. You're going to love. If love isn't present, something very unnatural has begun to occur. As a matter of fact, if you want to describe what love is, the greatest way probably to describe it is a mother with her child. There's an instance in the Old Testament in which God actually describes himself as a, as a she-bear who's been robbed of her cubs. It's no accident now that even God describes his own love, taking off this model of what motherhood is all about. Moms are going to love. It's one of the greatest gifts that we have in life, and it's almost a guarantee guaranteed response. When motherhood kicks in, you're going to love. If that doesn't kick in, something is horribly wrong. Moms are going to love, and we are grateful for that love. But you're also going to lose. It, it means this world is going to be full of pain and sorrow and loss. And that baby that you so love at times as they grow up, they're going to hurt you, sometimes not of their own intention, sometimes because of their own intention. Even the most positive of scenarios, when that baby grows up to be a, a, a little toddler and a little child and you walk them into kindergarten class for the first time, as you walk out proud of everything that they're doing, right in the natural progress of the where they're supposed to be, if you weren't walking them into that room, you'd be full of grief. But even as you walk out of that room you're supposed to be in, it's going to be a loss. It's going to be a hurt. Even the good times, the, the weddings, the, the graduations, the growing up, there is going to be a pain that is there that nobody is going to be able to explain. And as a man, I won't be able to fully understand because motherhood carries with it this love that also ensures this loss. And yet notice this, it's still worth it. You can't live in denial of it. You can't pretend as though it doesn't exist. You have to embrace both of these realities and say, this is what our experience actually is, and the love is completely worth it. We're going to express it in every way possible. But then we have to come alongside and begin to grieve the loss that is there, that is in the heart of every mom. And so as we approach Sunday and this Mother's Day weekend, I want you to recognize your God-given love that he has placed within you and give him gratitude for it. But then also grieve the loss of whatever it is in your life and trust him in the midst of it. Because while this is Genesis 3 and this is the reality of how we now live, the promise of Revelation 21 is gonna come in which one day he will wipe every tear away. But between now and then, shed the tear, experience the loss, even as you express the love. Happy Mother's Day weekend. Hey, thanks for watching that refuel. We would love you to subscribe below. Hit the subscribe button for this YouTube channel because this Bayside YouTube channel is where we send out all of our video content so you can get all of it. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.